Well, the search continues for the person Metro Police say hit a 12 year old with their car and then just took off. Tonight, News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs speaks with the boy's mother, who's begging that driver to come forward. That's the scary part, just seeing him look so helpless. It was the call Erica Pfizer wasn't expecting. My son had got hit by a car. A call that woke her right out of her sleep. Pfizer's 12-year-old son, Jay, was hit by a car in Madison Sunday afternoon while riding his bike. The driver left him there on the ground, motionless. Um, I couldn't really get to him, and I could tell he was unconscious. It wasn't a good sight to see him just laying on the ground. Pfizer says she's used to seeing her son happy and active. Now she sees him like this, hooked to monitors and tubes to help keep him alive. Severe brain injury. His pelvic bone is broken. He has staples in the back of his head. The family says they can't believe someone could do this. I'm just thinking about my child was down there on the ground by himself for a certain amount of time. That's heartbreaking. But this mother has a message for the person who left her son to fight for his life alone on the street. I don't think you did it on purpose. But if you had a heart, you would turn yourself in. I know you didn't hit him on purpose. Police are looking for this man, 24-year-old Devontae Hall, for questioning in the hit and run. Tips from the public led officers to a body shop where they say Hall dropped off a silver Chevrolet Impala with a broken windshield and front passenger side damage. But I do know that you were doing something you shouldn't have been doing, whatever it may be. Whether you were on drugs, whether you were texting and driving, you were doing something you shouldn't have been doing. Despite it all, Pfizer remains hopeful her son will pull through. He most definitely is a fighter. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.